Today's tutorial, we're going to look at the Unity interface. When we launch the Unity editor, we're going to see five distinct areas. We're going to take a look at each one of these five areas, discuss what they are, how to use them, and basically what they do for us. Just so you know, in this tutorial, we are going to be using the default view. Let's start off by looking at the hierarchy. The hierarchy is up here in the upper left hand corner. It contains every game object in the current scene. Some of these could be direct instances like a 3D model. Others might be instances of prefabs. By clicking on an object in the hierarchy and dragging it onto another object, you can set parenting. The parent object sets the relative transform properties of the child object. Try to think of the hierarchy as like a list of assets in your scene or assets in your current level. The scene view is basically an interactive sandbox. You can use the scene view to select and position game objects, such as environmental objects, the player, the camera, enemies, etc. If you're at all familiar with any other 3D applications, such as Autodesk Maya, you will find the gizmos very similar, as are the keyboard shortcuts, which are similar or even identical to many other programs. Q lets us select, W lets us translate or move, E rotates, and R scales. Hidden behind the scene view is the game view, which shows what will be seen when the game is actually running. Over here on the right we have the inspector. The inspector shows you the properties of whatever game object you have selected in the hierarchy. Here you can set the transform, you can remove components, you can add components such as a mesh renderer, a rigid body, a script, an audio source, just to name a few. You will find that as you work in Unity, the inspector is probably where you will spend the most of your time. It's the real backbone of the Unity editor. Down here at the bottom is the project browser. The project browser is used to manage the assets that belong to your project. The left panel of the browser shows the folder structure of the project as a hierarchy. The individual assets are shown on the right hand panel with icons that indicate their type, such as a script, a material, a subfolder, etc. Just as we can think of the hierarchy as being what is in our current level, we can think of the project browser as everything that's in our game. Up at the top we've got the toolbar. Toolbar has five basic controls. The transform toolbar is used in the scene view. That's our move, our, our select, our move, our rotate, and our scale. We've also got the transform gizmos toggles where we set center, pivot, global versus local. This is going to be used in our scene view. The play, pause, and step buttons, these are used in our game view. We can play our game, we can pause our game, we can move forward one step at a time in the game. We've also got the layers drop down. These layers are almost like using layers in your favorite photo editing software. Basically, you can control what is being displayed in the scene view. And finally, the layout drop down. Layout drop down, you can try out some other layouts that are available. Like I said, right now we're in the default. Uh, feel free to try out maybe the 2x3, the tall, the wide. Find out one that works best for you and run with it. Customize it as much as you want. Each one of these can be moved exactly where you want it to be. It's highly customizable. Make it your own. You can even go in and you can even save a layout that you have built as your own custom layout. All right, that wraps up the Unity interface. I wish you good luck and happy coding.